Hey guys, my name is Jamin. Thank you for visiting my YouTube channel, PC Monkey, where I try to bring you a wide variety of DIY computer repair and upgrade videos. In this video, I have a Dell Inspiron 14 series laptop computer. The exact model number is a 3452, but it should work on any Dell Inspiron 14 as they're very similar. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to access your battery, your RAM, your Wi-Fi card, and your secondary hard drive area. If you have any questions or comments, as always guys, check out the FAQs below in the description. It can save you some time getting an answer. If you do need to leave me a question or comment, please do so. I do try to get to those a couple times a day at least. Okay, so now let's get into the computer. All right guys, so first thing we're gonna do is make sure your computer is turned off, make sure the power cord is unplugged, and we're gonna remove the battery. The first thing you do in any computer repair is make sure it has as little power running through it as possible. That way we uh, don't risk damaging anything inside. Another great way to avoid damaging things, uh, as you can see, my computer is sitting on an anti-static pad right now. Um, either that or get yourself an anti-static bracelet, but any anti-static options like that are really good to make sure your computer um, has as little chance as possible of damaging anything once we get inside and start poking around. If you need any help, with any equipment like that or any tools that I'm gonna be using, there'll be a link up top in the screen. Uh, that'll take you to the store where you can see all of the things that I use in my shop. The next thing we do to get inside, we're gonna take off these two screws right here in order to get this bottom panel off. So we'll take our screwdriver, we'll take these screws off. Flathead screwdriver, that comes right off. Another quick suggestion for you guys when keeping track of your screws and your screw management, make sure you keep them separate from each other. Um, screws are not all the same size, the same width, or the same length in different parts of the computer. So make sure you know where your screws go so that when you're reassembling your computer, you can put them back in the correct spot. One quick suggestion, this is what I used to do when I started computer repair. Um, sometimes I'd write sticky notes, battery screws, bottom case screws. That way I could keep my screws separate from each other. So here you have a hard drive space right here where you can put in an additional hard drive. You have your Wi-Fi card and your RAM card. I'll zoom in a little more and show you how to take these out. So laptop RAM, this is very common how it looks. It's held in by two metal spring-loaded arms that hold it in like this. So all you've got to do is pry apart these arms and the RAM should just pop up like that. And then you would just slide it out. So that's your RAM stick. And as you can see, it's a long port, short port. So you can't put it in this way. It's got to go in this way. So to put it back in, you'd simply put it in the port and then snap it down like that. Over here you have your Wi-Fi card. It's held in by one screw with two antenna wires in it, just like most laptops. So to get these antenna screws up, we're going to pop up each antenna wire with a plastic pry tool. Then we're going to unscrew the one screw holding it down. And the Wi-Fi card pops out like that. And oftentimes you have to take out the Wi-Fi card to continue into the computer. As you can see, it's screwed into the bottom case there. To reattach your Wi-Fi card, you'd slide the new one in, you'd screw it back down, and then these antenna wires, they're just snaps. So as long as you have them in the correct port, we're just going to put that down over where it goes and snap it into place. You can hear it snap. We'll put the black one down, snap it into place. And that's how you would install the Wi-Fi card. So now to proceed further into the computer, we're just going to take out your Wi-Fi card as it's screwed onto the case. And it's always good as you proceed into the computer to just remove these easily removable components. You don't risk damaging anything. So now I'm going to go across and take out this screw, the corner screw, these three screws, these two, and that one. Okay, after we have those off, there's two screws here near the corners and one screw there under the battery. We'll take those out. Okay, so as far as I can see, all the screws are out. All the ones up here, all the ones down here. I don't see any more screws. I'm gonna take my small metal pry tool, go around the seam, and slowly try to pop it up. Be nice and gentle with this and try not to push the tool too far into the computer. Uh, you don't wanna break things in there.
Another thing I just noticed, I'll show you this right here, we'll zoom in. The speaker wire comes up over the panel and plugs into the motherboard. So that's over this panel. So before we can rip this panel off, we're gonna have to unplug that. The speaker wire port is a little white plug that plugs into the black port on the motherboard. We're gonna take our fingernails, if you can get in there, but it's kinda of tight, and pull that off, or I'm gonna take my small plastic pry tool and gently push one side out at a time. There we go, and that comes out. And then I'm gonna run it out through that port, so now when I take off my bottom case, this can go through the hole and it won't hold it down. Now I'll continue across, popping it up. And once it's loose all the way across, we're gonna flip the computer over. And we're gonna remove our keyboard as it feels like there are some screws holding it down from this side. And now we'll take our small flat metal pry tool, come at it from the top. You'll see there's one, two, three, four, five little snaps there. We're gonna snap those up so we can take our keyboard out. There's one, there's two, three, four. Last one's always the hardest, five. So there comes up our keyboard. To take that out, as you can see, the keyboard ribbon cable is still connected to the motherboard. So we'll zoom in now so you can see how to take that out. So right here, I'm using my plastic pry tool here. Right there, there's a black snap that's right there holding down the ribbon cable. Now the way that works is it snaps down to hold the ribbon in place and it snaps up to release it. So I'm gonna carefully take my flat end of my plastic pry tool, put it under there and snap that up. There you go. So now this gently slides out like that. After that, for safety, I'm gonna pop that back down so it doesn't get caught on anything. And now you can see why we took the keyboard off. It looks like there's two screws here and three screws here that screw down through the motherboard into the bottom case. So in order to take the bottom case off, we have to undo these screws. Okay, you now after all my screws are up, there's one more ribbon cable right here. We'll zoom in there for you. As you can see, that's held down by a much smaller clip. It's white this time, but it's the same design as that one. So I'm gonna pop that up with my pry tool, release this ribbon cable, and then put that back down for safety. And now the palm rest can come up. So this just lifts right off like that. Now further into the computer, there's your USB board. Two USBs, one single screw, held on by a large ribbon cable that goes over here to the motherboard. Same kind of connectors that we already saw for the keyboard. Here's your motherboard. There's one single screw there, and then everything else comes up. There's your fan, and this is your LCD cable. Goes up here through the hinge assembly up to your LCD screen. And your power jack is right here in the corner. The wire goes under the LCD cable and then breaks off right here and plugs into your motherboard there. You can see the red and black wires there. If you're trying to get at your CMOS battery, unfortunately, the only way to reach it in this model computer is to take off the motherboard. So we'll take out that one single screw. I'm gonna disconnect this ribbon cable here just so we can get at that and show you where that is. And we'll take your motherboard and we'll flip it over. So there's your motherboard, your fan, your heat sink assembly that goes over the CPU. As you can see, this is a very tiny CPU. It's not removable. It's integrated into your motherboard. And there's your CMOS battery right there. So that's our video, a nice simple partial teardown video. Again, check out the FAQs below if you need to. Leave me a comment if you need to. I do try to address those as often as possible. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I look forward to seeing you on my next video.